Yes. May I ask one yes. more quick one? Um, on, I think it was last week's weekly CD, you actually said timing is none of your business. And How rude of us. Hmm? <laughs> timing is none of your business in the sense that if you can take timing out of the equation mm -hmm. and just understand that there is a universal timing, here's what we mean. Alignment is what is everything. And when where you are is a perfect match to what you desire, it's happening now. And so if you're measuring how much time that takes, you're missing the point. Mm -hmm. If you're measuring how good you can feel right now, now you're on the point. So there are those who have desires that have been being held for them in vibrational escrow for a very long time and they will die with them being unfulfilled still being held for them in vibrational escrow because they're so involved with noticing where they are that they are keeping a vibration active that's very far apart from the vibration of their desire so timing is controlled by the vibrational alignment so how long it will take you to achieve anything has nothing to do with anything not one thing outside of you it only has to do with how much time it takes you to find a way to release the resistance and you can tell you're releasing resistance by finding thoughts that feel better just understand that if there is something that you want and you really want it and it hasn't happened yet and you are more often noticing that it hasn't happened and feeling uncomfortable that it hasn't happened then you are looking forward to it happening then you can hold yourself for a long period of time out of vibrational alignment as we're moving forward here today with people who have things that they want and have wanted for a while that aren't coming we'll demonstrate how to find softer and softer better feeling ways of looking at it and even if you are listening in you may very well feel your own resistance uh, beginning to dissipate as you begin to move up the emotional scale because this gathering is about closing that gap and closing that gap is what equals the timing but we don't want you to be thinking about closing that gap in terms of time we want you to think about closing that gap in terms of oh this feels better and this feels better because it's what we were getting at earlier today there is always going to be something more that you want that is unfulfilled and so you've just got to get used to that you've just got to say I'm an eternal being on the leading edge of thought and I'm going to keep hatching new ideas there's always going to be something I want that is not yet manifested and that's a good thing not a bad thing and when you get into that place of knowing that it's not a question of whether it will come or not it's not if it will happen it must happen it, it is law that it happen when you become in vibrational alignment with it the question is when will it happen that's why we're talking about time when will it happen and we say well the when is completely up to you how long is it going to take you to feel good about where you are in relationship to what you want make peace with where you are find a way of softening your discord or discomfort and when that discord and discomfort goes away the resistance goes away and when the resistance goes away you've only got one signal going and when you've got one signal going you're gonna lock right on you see and you can feel it when you start approaching that brink you you begin to feel the current coming together you begin to feel the energy moving if you are in the range of enthusiasm you begin to feel more passionate you begin to feel you Esther will say I can feel that we're right on the brink of something I can feel it by the way the energy is moving or she'll say I can feel that there's something that I want out there and I'm nowhere near it I can feel the discord in that you get so you are so aware of the vibration within your being that it is just as effective as having your hands in that clay in other words it it feels just that much in your control you get so you can just move a thought here and move a thought here and move a thought here and all oh, that feels a little better and that feels a little better than that and oh, that doesn't feel so good you can actually chart where you are on the emotional scale and so when you realize that you have the ability to continue to release resistance and that that's what the work is it has always been the work of the mind the manifestations come to reflect what the work you are doing with your mind is but it has always been the work of the mind but we don't want you to think too hard it's why for a while we called this gathering the science of deliberate creation and people got so worried about it they they worried about their thoughts they, 
They tried to suck them back. <laughs> cancel, cancel, they would say. They were afraid that they were thinking a thought that the universe would get hold of and then manifest. And so we began calling this the art of allowing because it puts it more in the place where you can recognize by the way you feel whether you are allowing yourself vibrational alignment or not.